Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So in this video, I am doing an acrylic pour grenade pour. To start off with, you'll take a plastic cup and push a jumbo push pin into the bottom of it. And you'll see why it's called a grenade pour in just a little bit. You can get these jumbo push pins from Amazon or from a lot of uh, office stores like Office Depot or things like that. I'm using Mixed Media Girl pouring paints and the colors I'm using are white and black glow green which looks white but it's kind of more of a creamy color and then some caribbean teal and i used enough paint to cover this 12 by 12 inch canvas which is about eight to nine ounces i flipped it like you would a regular flip cup but then you pull the pin out and you can see that basically causes an explosion so it kind of launches it like a grenade and that's why it's called a grenade pour now, how you pull your cup up is totally up to you. You can just pull it straight up, or if you want, you can kind of lip it through that paint, which is what I decided to do. And I just did it a couple times, and that gave me some really, really cool patterns. Now, once you've done that, tilt your canvas to your liking. I like to go towards the corner, then back to the middle. And once I've got my canvas pretty much covered, then I start to run it off the sides and you can spread out any areas that you like and run off any paint that you don't like. Also, one thing that I like to do if I want to kind of save an area a little bit more is I just kind of help it along on the corners or the edges so that I do not have to run off parts that I don't want to run off. And so that's what I'm doing here. Also, this paint that goes onto the table, you can reuse that. You can save it by putting it into a cup and use it later, or you can let it dry and make other projects out of it. I've got a lot of videos on that. So here's how it looks wet. I actually got this really cool kind of forest in here, and then there's a little scary face and just a lot of really cool reactions. This one was kind of continuing to change before my eyes, so I was pretty sure it was going to change even more as it dried, but it just looks awesome. And then here's how it looks dried. So unfortunately, my forest doesn't look quite as cool dry, but it's still cool <laughs> and just still a lot of really awesome reactions in here. This isn't sealed, but you can see it's kind of a satin or semi-gloss here. Looks very nice. And then I'm going to show you how it looks in the dark. So this is how it looks in the dark, not with a black light or anything, just in the dark. If you have a black light, it'll make it glow even more. And you can, of course, charge it in the sun or under a UV light or just even a regular light. So there you guys go. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.